automation in the next 12 to 24 months is getting ready to take a huge turn and it's going to be more revolutionary than ever with the use of chat GPT. Now, how that is going to affect our industry, the early childhood education industry, is exactly what I'm going to go over with you in today's new video. Into that, let's really talk about what is chat GPT. I'll ask the question, you know, have you heard of chat GPT? And I get different answers. Some people have heard of it. Some people have not. So if you're one of the ones that you have not heard of what chat GPT is, then let me break it down to you of what it is. And then we're going to talk about how you can actually use it right now in your child care business um, to help you basically save time, to help you um, come up with ideas, create. It's really amazing what it can do. And so, yeah, let me share with you really quick what it actually is. So I'm going to read this off because there's a lot of like lingo and things in it that I am not trying to mess up. <laughs> um, so let me go ahead and hop in and read this off. So chat GPT is an AI chatbot developed by open AI. It has an auto generative system, which is a pre-trained generated chat, which makes use of NLP or natural language processing. So in a nutshell, what it does is it talks back to you. It's AI. Okay. And so you can literally, enter in information and it's going to, it's almost like you're talking to a human being, right? It's almost like you're chatting with another human being. It's that good. Now I have actually been using chat GPT for quite some time. Um, I guess maybe the last few months. And I mean, it has really helped me out in, you know, my business and what I do here at um, AshleyBenz.com. So I'm going to tell you guys though, this is going to be revolutionary. So let's talk about how you can actually use it right now. Now, if you have not yet, if you haven't heard of it, you're new to this, all you've got to do is go over to ChatGPT.com and you can actually go ahead and set up a free account. You can log in and you can start chatting with the chatbot basically today. Now, one of the cool things that um, I thought that would be really, really helpful to you guys is like with your accounting and budgeting. So you could actually have it set up a monthly forecast budget for you based off of your current data information that you have. So example, you could literally say, okay, here are my expenses. Here, here's my payroll expenses. Here's my operating expenses for the month. Here is what I'm charging. Um, can you give me a budget? And it will spit out, hey, here's exactly how you want to budget to be sure that you're profitable for the month of March or April or whatever, okay? So that's one way that you could actually use that. Um, the other thing is that you can use it for your marketing efforts. So like creating like Facebook ad copy. Um, another cool thing that you could also do with it is you could literally tell it to create social media posts, y'all. This is a bonus tip because I actually shared this with one of my clients today, but you can actually take your website link and say, hey, Go to this website and I want you to create me as many social media posts copy that you can come up with and it will generate so much for you, okay? So this is just a snippet of what it's doing and what it can do for you right now. So let's talk about what it's actually going to be able to do in the next 12 to 24 months with the new model that they're going to have coming out, which is the chat GPT Four. Okay, so right now chat GPT-3 is what we have access to, but they are currently in the process of building out and releasing chat GPT-4 and I'm going to tell y'all game changer. Now, if you are new to me, I just want to say welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley Benz of AshleyBenz.com and Child Care Business Executive Tools where I help you start automate or expand your early childhood education business. And I do all those things over at AshleyBenz.com. So if you're new to me, I am a automation specialist for child care businesses. Um, what I typically do is I do help you start. So I'm very well known for helping people start their child care businesses. And then I am well known for helping them automate. So I am the go-to girl. If you want to know how to set up an automated child care business, so that you can have a child care business that is going to work for you and you're not working for it. And so today, I really think that this video is going to be a game changer um, and at least kind of getting our minds open up into what we're going to be expecting next when it comes to the world of automation. So 
If you have not subscribed to the channel and you want more content like this, if you want to know about how to start your child care business, how to automate it, or how to expand, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So hit that subscribe button. Be sure that you hit the bell so that you're notified of when I do post up videos. Um, and also like this video as well if you are excited about what I am getting ready to share. So without further delay, let me go ahead and take a quick sip and then we're going to talk about what ChatGPT is going to be able to do for us in the next 12 to 24 months and for your child care business. Okay, so one of the cool ways, so really quick, you guys, um, I'm going to head over to ChatGPT4. If you just go to openai.com, um, you should be able to find ChatGPT4 and just, just to learn about it in general if you have not. Uh, but what I love about what's getting ready to come out, um, and you can watch this video if you want to as well, but what I love about what's getting ready to come out is the fact that um, basically what they're going to do is they're going to change it from more of a text style thing so into basically where it can, it has um, advanced reasoning capabilities. So you guys, when I say reasoning capabilities, it can reason, right? So one example that I thought of, I was like, oh, actually it's sitting here. So if you look on here, it says, I mean, it has like a whole like, you know, um, thing about somebody scheduling or trying to figure out time or when's a good time to meet. And so you can actually give it um, like the train left the station type of problem and it's going to help you solve the issue. So a prime example is a staffing issue. So let's say that you have, you know, somebody can't come in and so-and-so is going to be off on Tuesday, but so-and-so is going to be leaving early and blah, blah, blah. You can literally say, hey, this is what I have. This is a problem. How can we fix this? What type of options do we have with problem solving this issue, right? Um, so it's going to have a lot of reasoning capabilities. And so one of the other things that I'm super excited about is the fact that guys listen you can literally take a picture with your phone okay of your classroom and if you upload the regulations within chat gpt um, and this is in the newer version I, I don't think it does it right now but in the chat gpt4 you can take a picture of the classroom upload your state's regulations and it will tell you what is not in compliance and what is in your classroom so maybe it's you know a cup like this or a mug like this that does not have a top on it um or that's not clear or maybe there is a plug-in that's not or you know coats are touching um whatever right personal belongings are touching but you'll be able to take that snapshot of your classroom and it's going to be able to give you back feedback with that so these are the capabilities of things that's going to be able to help you guys in so many ways save time um, and really be able to use this and utilize tools like this to be able to help you run a quality child care program. The other thing that I was looking to when I um, actually was doing research was that it actually has a tutoring capability. So almost kind of like, you know, you could literally have like one-on-one -on -one, um, and use this. Yes, 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 yes. I know a lot of people are saying, well, wait a minute, Ashley, are we going to be setting our kids in front of screens and things like that? Yeah, I mean, we are. You know, there is the best practices for how much screen time that our kids are going to be having. But I have a funny feeling that at some point, we're going to have to really change some of that. And the reason why is because this is revolutionary and kids are going to be able to learn so much better with something of this capability. So what I'm suspecting is end up happening is that instead of it saying, you know, no screen time or whatever, and I'm talking about regulations and things like that, but they're they're going to obviously, and they do have a balance now, but I think they're going to have to change. They're going to have to change a little bit about what they're doing because the era that we're going into, because this is a new era, right? This is totally different. Um, so I definitely can see that that's going to be, you know, regulations are probably eventually going to change. Now, when they're going to change, I don't know. <laughs> 
because typically regulations usually it takes them some time it takes state some time to get laws changed and statutes changed and stuff like that but i do foresee that happening um but yeah so one of the things that it can do is give really good tutoring for a child so i can really see this being using where you are saying because i know when i ran my center we would have like one-on-one -on -one time where most of the kids, like we would have like a group of kids that would go outside and then maybe two or three students would stay in the classroom and one of the teachers would take the kids outside. The other teacher would sit in the classroom with, you know, the three kids and she would work with them kind of on a one-on-one -on -one thing. I could see that where the teacher could be maybe working with like two students and then have one sitting at, um, you know, a computer of some sort and ChatGPT is actually tutoring that student and then the teacher comes back in and gives like some hu more human interaction. Like I can really see that happening. So um, also I have seen where they are going to be bringing out a, I think, I, and I know I saw this somewhere because my husband, Victor, he stays up watching stuff. I'm like sleeping in the bed and I'm like in and out, you know, but I can hear what he's watching and he's like up watching the stuff like late at night because he just geeks out on this stuff. Um, but I do, I remember seeing something where it was stating that like they're going to have it where you can literally talk to it and it talks back. So almost like an avatar feature. So I can literally hear a student, you know, or a child saying, you know, um, I don't understand that or whatever. And it's, it can talk about anyway, you guys just game changer is what I'm getting ready to say. Game changer for our industry um, and for automation as a whole. Okay, so without getting too, you know, geeked out about all this in this video, um, as I conclude, and I was going to make this really short just because I just wanted to at least, you know, share my thoughts about this. I have seen some content out there that's been created um, in our industry about ChatGPT, and I want to kind of give you guys, you know, what my thoughts were on it um, as an automation specialist for child care businesses. Um, and uh, my thoughts are that this is going to be game changer. And for you, what this means for you is that you need to start really kind of opening up your horizons to, you know, some things that this could really change for your child care business. So in conclusion, this is the reason why I tell my students and my clients who I'm working with inside of my membership program, this is why I really, really recommend for you guys to use software applications that can integrate with AI, okay? And so what that means is that, you know, um, yes, we do have a lot of different softwares that are out there that are user-friendly for child care businesses, but if you really, really, really want to have a robust automated child care business, you got to have these softwares that's going to integrate with um, stuff like this, with AI, with ChatGPT and other applications so that you can actually make the workflows work for you and that you're not so much stuck into like a one size fits all type of softwares. So a lot of times what I do see with the different um, softwares that are out there for our industry is that they are very boxed in. And, you know, I was actually working with the owner a few months back and we were doing a workflow, an automation workflow, which is what we do inside of the membership program. And um, I was giving her like, so when we do workflows, you guys, it is very intense. But um, in a good way. But I was telling her, I was like, okay, you know, this is kind of, so I think we were working on her flow of her enrollment flow and just how parents are going to like enroll and, you know, what happens here and here and here. And so she was like, well, Ashley, she said, but, you know, that's not going to work for me because when, you know, I might have a family that en is enrolling, but they're not starting right now. And I need, you know, this automation to happen when they actually start, like on their start date, not when they enroll. And so I was like, oh, that does make a lot of sense. So we came up with something that was going to be unique to what she was needing. And so when you're doing robust automation, you know, and you're using these user-friendly software systems, it really makes it difficult to be able to make a change like that, like what I just subscribed to you, or not subscribe. <laughs> yeah, do subscribe to the channel. <laughs> but what I just described to you with the client that I was working with. So um, again, you guys, like just when you are setting up your automation, be sure that you have softwares that can integrate with AI. And this is if you want your child care business to be robust and you want a better work-life balance because where the work-life balance comes into play is with through automation. So that's how we get to the work-life balance is because we are automating things in our business 
and we are making sure that we're being replaced. Yeah, that you are being replaced as the owner with automated systems, workflows, and things of that nature. All right, so as I wrap up today's video, um, I do want to uh, know from you is, have you heard of ChatGPT or is this your first time hearing about it? And if you have heard about it, how are you using it? Like, tell me what you're using it for in your childcare business. Let's continue the conversation down below in the comments and meet me down there. And I love to chit chat with you guys more about automation, chat GPT, or any other questions that you might have regarding um, child care business automation. So be sure to meet me in the comments down below. Um, go ahead and give this video a like as well. Um, I meant to ask you guys to do that in the middle of the video, but I'm going to ask you to do that now. So if you really like this video and you like this content and you want more of this stuff, go ahead and give me a like that lets me know that, hey, I'm on the right track with my content here and um, just kind of keeps me going there. So thank you so much for that. Also, you guys, if you are wanting to work with me, if you are ready for automation, if you are trying to start your child care business or expand your child care business, or you want to know about automation workflows, basically what I am doing right now is I am working with my members inside of my online coaching campus, uh, which is for child care business executives just like you. And we have, I have three different membership tiers. So you can come in as a light member. If you're a light member, that just means that you're in the research phase and it's mainly just for those researching and you really just want an overview of what all that looks like with starting your child care business. Um, if you are a pro member, we get into automation setup. And for my premium members, um, this is kind of where I really roll out this type of content to my premium members and just how we do things. So I'll be rolling out ChatGPT to them, you know, as a premium member. And then it kind of trickles down to my other members because again, as a premium member, um, that's kind of where we really dive deep into automation workflow. But nonetheless, you guys, I would love to work with you. You can start as low as $7. Yes, I did say $7. You can start as low as $7. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the link down below. If you would like to become a member, you'll be able to check out the different membership tiers. Um, and I'm going to send you off to the light version. And if you're interested in our pro or premium, then just reach out, leave a comment down below. Let us know that, hey, I'm interested in, in your other membership tiers and uh, we can get you some more information on all of that. But I am super excited about this ChatGPT. Um, again, I've been using the uh, version they have out now, which is three, and I absolutely love it. I've used it for some of my clients um, and I'm super excited when four comes out. So yeah. All right. So that is all that I have for today. Again, thank you so much for joining. Um, again, I'm going to leave that link down below as far as if you want to work with me inside of the child care business executive online coaching campus, you guys. And I just, I just looked at say, I think we have like 108 members in there. So the membership is growing so rapidly. And uh, we started at the beginning of this year and it is amazing. We have a lot of good content, not content. Well, there is a lot of good content in there, but a lot of good, um, testimonials and people are getting major results. So you guys. Come on in if you want to work with me inside of there. You can get started as low as $7. And I'm so excited to be able to work with you um, and continue to bring you more content here on this channel. So again, thank you so much for being here. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, one last thing. Um, I was actually hopping in to record another video. So stay tuned for that. But um, chat GPT four is actually available. I was talking to my husband and he was like, that's already available, Ashley. So I want to hop in here and let you guys know that that is available. We actually went ahead and upgraded to the plus. It is $20 a month. So um, yes, want to hop in and let you guys know that. Um, I hope you again enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one, which I'm getting ready to record right now. <laughs>